Hey everyone, welcome back to NG. What is supposedly gonna be the last episode? Um, I'm assuming we're just gonna go home and get some sleep and then we'll see what's up tomorrow. What? D-Man? How are you? It's D-Man. Final message! I can see you have no interest in my analysis report. How shameful. I'm terribly disappointed. <laughs> Never want to see your face again. That's fine, dude. Your things are too cryptic anyway. Seems this will be my last contact with D-Man. Who in the world was he anyway? Yeah. Curiosity stings for all of two seconds before I shrug and head home. When I get home, I immediately head to the bathroom and take a hot shower. I can still feel that lukewarm sensation from the blood that spurted when I cut the demon Tsukiyomi. I want to wash that off as soon as possible. Right. This music? I haven't seen Kakia since the day she told me about the Killer Peach game. The fact that she hasn't shown up despite the fact that I took Ami back makes me feel uneasy. Oh yeah! But Kakia's curse did appear. What's going on? Maybe Kakia is still watching me even though I can't see her. From beyond the mirror, from the realm of the dead. She's seen you naked in that case. That's right, where did that thing go? I search my drawers, shelves, and under the bed. I quickly find it. Oh, yeah. In the blood matry vision I had, Masaru Ishimaru was holding this doll. It's definitely the same one. In that vision, Yakumo Miruko said... Just junk now, now that I'm the last successor. Hmm... Looks like just junk, but it, its appearance is similar to Kakuya's. That's bugging me. Maybe it's like a little voodoo doll. I'll think about it later. I need to get up early tomorrow and, get, and go pick up Ami. I, I better get to sleep. Kinda sad I didn't get to figure out D-Man, but... His cryptic messages just really pissed me off. They're too cryptic. Tomoko Okayama lost her son and husband in the fire. Arsonist was Masaru Ishimaru, Noboru Ishimaru's son. After losing his mother, he turned psychopath, committing crimes, and tried to resurrect his mom with the demon Tsukiyomi ritual. His father covered up the incident with underworld connections and grudges of fire victims in Okayama. Uh, grudges of the fire victims in Okayama made it so that Mas Masaru is gone. I keep forgetting, I need to turn the volume down. There we go. Nice and quiet. You wanna just go to bed now? Okay, that worked. Collapsing on the bed, I shut my eyes. A bunch of things happened tonight, some of it shocking. I would have sworn I was going to find myself awake for hours after shutting my eyes. But he fell asleep. But I must be exhausted. My consciousness quickly fades away. Yes. Sure, I'll save. Last day. Uh, 19th. When did I start playing NG? Was that January? February? Jesus. Afternoon, I go to the hospital to pick Ami up. The doctor explains the results to me, but despite clearly being in a weakened state, her brain infrequently exhibits theta waves? Obviously, I don't understand any of that. Me neither. What is that? After I promise to bring her in for regular exams, the doctor finally releases her. Then after paying Natsumi a quick visit, it's somehow already become sunset. When we arrive at Kisoji, Ami bad badgers me into a huge shopping trip at the nearby supermarket. We stock up not only on food and candy, but also a change of clothes and toothbrush for Ami. <coughs> I don't have much say since she'll be staying with me for a while, and by the end my arms are full. Big brother, wanna help me carry a grocery bag? No, I got it. Then I can take that paper bag. It looks pretty light. 
She's staring at the black paper bag I have. Apparently Oe left it at the hospital this morning when she went to visit Ami. It contains everything that Aunt Natsumi had on her when she collapsed. The police had it submitted as evidence, but they'd finished examining it all. According to Oe, she put the report in there too, as a little gift to me. Hmm. I told you I got it, Ami. You gotta save your strength to get better. Okay. I'll let you handle it. Thanks. I'm glad she's back. Wait. Is she really back though? What if... We haven't seen Kakia anymore since Ami came out. What if this is Kakia pretending to be Ami? We did the exact same thing just three weeks ago, or she's possessed. Feels like it's been an eternity since then. Oh yeah, big brother. Whatever happened to that black postcard? Oh, that? Black postcard I got from Kakuya. Cursed invitation that got Ami and I wrapped up in Kakuya's games. If I hadn't picked up that postcard back then, would my fate have changed? I don't really remember. To be honest, that po postcard just vanished at some point. Maybe it ended up getting tossed with the rest of my junk mail. Oh, that's too bad. I had a fun riddle. But you solved the riddle already. We rest for a bit after getting home and I make a stir fry at Ami's request. But it's it's not like it's especially it's not like it's especially fancy or anything, but Ami looks delighted as she eats it. Bum, 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 bum. After taking another little break, Ami says that she'll wash the dishes. Now that I remember, it was always Ami's job to do the dishes on days when I made the food. She's still recovering, so I try to keep her from overexerting herself. But she just yells, it's my job, and won't listen to a thing I say. In the end, I throw in the towel and let her do it. The rabbit keeps running, chasing after the stars. I can hear Ami start to sing in the kitchen. She's having a good time washing the plates. She seems weirdly excited, but I guess that's better than her being all depressed over Aunt Natsumi. Alright, what should I do in the meantime? Check out the black bag, of course. There might be a huge hint in there. I got Aunt Natsumi's clothes and purse inside. The cops analyzed them. Ami said Oe oh, included a report. Should I read it? Have a look. As I'm looking through the bag, I immediately find a manila envelope. Inside are a number of official looking documents. The letters are so small that looking at them makes my head hurt, but I start to read it anyway. It had detailed descriptions and analysis on Aunt Natsumi's personal belongings and clothes. There's some sensitive info in there too, so it's a bit awkward. Wait, bloodstain reaction? I quickly find the full sentence. Small bloodstain found on the linen of the skirt. Her leg must have been skinned when she fell. When she fell must be talking about when she collapsed after calling me. If I use blemetry on that blood, I might be able to figure out what happened to her. Yes! That's cool. I search the paper bag and take out the skirt. I turn it over and sure enough, there's a dark stain. Let's do it. I put my finger on the small blood stain and focus. I'm curious to see what happened. Yeah? Gabu, are you there? This must be from her viewpoint. She knocks on my door, but apparently I'm not there. I'm sorry, Gabu. She uses a key. She takes out the copy of the key I gave her, opens the door, and walks inside. The mirror. If Miruka's book is right, Ami is inside the mirror. If I join mirrors, I'm sure Ami will. Oh, Gabu. Hello, I just got to your... Aunt Natsumi, listen to me. I found a black postcard on your desk. Where'd you find it? It was on the ground in front of the bar. I thought someone dropped it, so I picked it up just in case. Anyway, I need to tell you. I figured it out. I know. Know what? The Realm of the Dead? Exactly. It's in Miroku's Nagoshi no Ki, The Realm of the Dead. If what it says is true, Ami is... We've all read this before. Inside the mirror. Going to save Ami, hurry up and join. Here it comes. 
She didn't see anything? What is this feeling? So hard to breathe. You can hear her thoughts. Die. Yeah, she ne she ne she ne she ne. Oh, the shower. As her consciousness fades, I can hear the sound of the bathroom door opening behind her. Someone behind me. Her consciousness dims as she turns around. I called it. I called it. Ami. It was too easy and, she, and Kakia wasn't around, so I immediately was like, oh, Wait a minute. I can't collect my thoughts. What's going on? Ami attacked on Natsumi? Ami! Ami isn't here. Where is she? Where'd she go? Ami isn't here either. I thought Ami was trapped in the bathroom mirror in the realm of the dead. And the day after on Natsumi collapsed, that night I helped Ami out of the mirror. So then why... why was Ami outside before I saved her? Oh! Ami. You saw, didn't you? I guess I've been found out. What does that mean? My throat is dry, my voice is hoarse and hardly manages to work. I had no choice, you know. Mom was getting in the way. What are you saying? I mean, it's true. If mom hadn't come here, then I could have stayed here in your apartment forever. I wanted to be alone with you. Just you and me, alone together. What? With you forever and ever. This must be Kakia. Sweat drips down my back. I can't move like my whole body is frozen. And it's hard to breathe. Big brother, together forever. Come with me. Oh, holy shit! The fuck? I love you so much. Whoa, what? I hope that means the real Ami isn't dead yet, right? I hope we can save her. A cold breeze brushes my cheek. I stagger back to my feet. Oh shit. Where am I? place doesn't feel real. It seems vaguely familiar, but at the same time, it doesn't. What am I doing here? My head pounds when I try to remember. All my thoughts are, f thoughts are fuzzy. It's almost like I'm dreaming. None of this feels real. Okay. Now it's Gakia's curse this time. Time for a tale. There was a child named Kaguya who lived in the realm of the dead. Kaguya had a daddy and she loved her, her daddy very much. Kaguya's friends were the tiny dolls her daddy gave her. Her previous daddy and the ones before that, they all go gave her tiny dolls. Those tiny dolls were Kaguya's best friends. Hmm. The one where we have on us? The hell's going on? What should I do? I guess remember? My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. It's not right, what should I do? Hmm. Find an exit? My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. That's not right. Oh, it has to be look for Kakia. I have to look for Kakia. <laughs> As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. Oh, nice and purple. Matches my background. Next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. Feels familiar here, too. It's all mirrored, though. Oh, we're in the mirror world! Oh, shit! I can hear a shower running behind the frosted glass door. Over the sound of water flowing, someone's singing. I should know that voice, but I can't remember who it is. It sounds like Karu. Someone there? 
Hey, answer me. My head throbs. Oh. That's not what I really should do. Oh, really? This is weird. That's right, big brother. You shouldn't talk to that girl. That hussy girl floats with all kinds of guys. She's contaminate. She'll contaminate you. Kakuya is much prettier. Who's more important to you, Kakuya or that hussy girl? Should I say Kakuya? I open my mouth to reply, but I can't remember her name. I have to resist Kakuya or she'll devour my thoughts. Okay. Kaoru. So, ka. Oh. Hmm. Hazuki? Oh, maybe it was ki. You're really important to Kakuya, too. Kakuya loves you! Hmm. Love! Why is everyone afraid of love? Love! <laughs> Something breaks inside my heart. I wonder if this is a dead end. My consciousness fades. Cold feeling engulfs my whole body. I hear Kaguya's voice beside me. Big bro playing with Kakia. Alone forever. Forever and ever. Ugh. We didn't see anything. Let's try Ki for Hazuki, I guess. Too bad they didn't show anything. Hazuki. Yeah, Hazuki. Okay. Now what do I do? Looks so cool in purple. Hazuki girl is better than Kakuya. You've been seduced by that evil pig, haven't you? Okay then. All Kakuya has to do is erase her from inside you. Hmm. Is she coming out of the bathroom? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. Um... Is she dead? I know her. The idol who helped me, Kaura Hazuki. Oh shit! Wait, we reset? What is she after? Oh. Well, I passed the first round, I guess. Countless smiles surface and begin crudely laughing. It wasn't long until Kaguya had a new daddy. Unlike any of the old daddies, the new one gave her a little girl doll. One doll followed by another, and another still. And when Kaguya received her fourth doll, she was surprised. The doll was a grown-up. Kaguya played with the grown-up doll. Grown-ups himself became interesting. Kaguya wants to play with her daddy who she loved. Her daddy said no, but Kaguya played with her daddy regardless. Ah, so that's how he fell a victim to her. Then soon after, her daddy disappeared. Stapling all the hands on himself. I can kind of tell it's talking about Kaguya, but other than that, I have no idea what it's saying. My head feels like a big, empty void. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk down the dim, never-ending path. Ah, cool. Before I realize it, I'm standing at a railroad crossing. I feel like I know this place, too. I love the music. Who's this? It's D-Man. <laughs> ah, I'm a no -me. What's wrong? You can hear me, right? It's rude to not reply when someone's talking to you. I hang up the phone. I don't know if that's the right call, but... So far it's been like, don't talk. And just keep going. You shouldn't even talk to someone like him. 
Yakuza Punk takes advantage of you. You'll end up dishonest like he is. Kakuya is nicer. Kabu. Yakuza Punk or Kakuya? Who is more important? His name is Amanome Seiji. Kakuya. Okay. Amanome. Okay. Hahaha. <laughs> I got his name right. Amanome. So far, so good. I don't know Oe's full name, though. So you like the Yakuza punk more than Kakuya? Kakuya is sure that Hooligan blackmailed you. Okay, then. All Kakuya has to do is erase him from inside you. A scream echoes from a short distance away. Oh no! So she's kind of like killing them. Oh god. In my head. Jesus. Amanome. Holy fuck. I know who this is. My best friend since elementary, Seiji Amanome. Shit. I hope they're not really dead. Just like sand spilling between my fingers, my memories of Amanome slowly fade away. I can't even remember his face anymore. It's possible. Possible I've lost other precious memories as well. Yeah, that's her. So the 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 new ritual that the that the last last Yakumomiroko dude invented to to like keep her calm actually corrupted her slowly. She became more and more interested in humans because of the dolls. Did you make sure to forget everyone important to you other than Kakuya? In Ami's memories, it was just to, just those two, right? Ami. Ugh, so creepy. Kakuya was Ami. Kakuya wanted to be with you, so she made to give up. She she was made to give up her body. But Ami isn't needed anymore. So Kakuya threw her outside. And where am I? Kakuryo. You're in the Shadow Realm, yeah. It's the world inside the mirror. I've been I must have been pulled in here after Ami started acting strange. That's probably why my head feels so blank. Here in Kakuryo, it's just you and Kakuya. Just the two of us. Together, even after you die. Damn you, are you planning to kill me? I don't think so. Kakuya loves you, dead or alive. Oh. Let's play forever and ever. Hell no. My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. That's not it. Oh. I mean, they all say no, though. Get me out of here? Hmm. Ah, uh, I see. So, they're all- they're all wrong. <laughs> the hell am I saying? It's like I'm a puppet dancing under the control of Kakuya. At this rate, she's gonna... Oh yeah, Kakia got a grown-up doll from daddy. So Kakia learned a lot about grown-ups. I wonder what doll she got. They play secret games, have fun without children. Sake, cigars, and you know, haha. <laughs> Sexy time? What does any of that matter? You see, Kakia loves you and wants to have fun with you, the way grown-ups do. You wanna have sex with me? What the hell are you saying? That's why Kakuya is also going to be a grown-up. What does that mean? Oh shit, here it comes. What is she? Holy shit, so many legs. What the fuck? The childlike Kakuya doll transforms into a deformed monster. Only way I can describe it is bizarre. What looks like a third arm and leg from a female are growing at odd angles out of the small torso. Weird. Let's play. 
The monster that was Kakia seems unused to its grown unused to its grown up body. Steps as she stumbles closer are awkward, like she's just learning how to walk. I I can still run. My feet are moving before I finish the thought. Mo most important things right now most important thing right now is to gain as much time as possible. Enough time to figure out a way to escape from her. The insanity flowing from her is menacing, with her crazy obsession towards me. If I'm caught, it'll be the end for me. Should we try and make a new mirror connection? Where is Kakia? My senses are on high alert. I search for any presence nearby. I don't think she's here yet. What do I do now? If this is the realm of the dead, then how do I escape from here? That's the world Amhi's been trapped in. Because I faced the mirrors to each other from the outside, she was able to get out, but... It wasn't Ami I saved. It had been Kakuya. She switched places with Ami. I can only guess at why Kakuya switched with her. Maybe her plan was to pretend to be Ami and live with me as my little sister. But me finding out ruined things and she had to pull out the drastic measures. Kakuya is obsessed with me. If I think about it, it's been this way since the start. She kidnapped Ami to get me involved in the game. She got really into continuing, continuing it with me. She said it was so she could play with me, who she loves. But why me? Maybe I already have the pieces to the puzzle. But my memory right now is holes all over. I've completely forgotten the names of Yakuza Punk and Hussy Girl at this point. Oh no! Can I really do something about her in the condition I'm in? Is she coming? Oh shit. It's almost time. Table the tail has the table has reached. The tail has reached happily ever after. After her daddy was gone, Kakia became lonely. Kakia decided to go outside the mirror and look for her new daddy. What? That went too fast. I can't tell what the whispering voice was saying at the end. No point in sticking around here. She'll show up eventually. I need to make the first move and find a way to get out of the realm of the dead. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk down the dim, never-ending path. Well, we know there's a mirror in the bathroom. I'm standing in a familiar room before I realize it. There's the mirror right there at the front door. This is the place where the hussy girl was killed in the bathroom. Oh, I remember now. This is my apartment. I wonder if the mirrored room and weird colors are because this is the realm of the dead. There might be something here. Guess I'll take a quick look. Being in this place, I can't help but think about the scene of the death I witnessed earlier. I'll look around the bathroom where she is later. I'll check other places first. Um, living room. What do we got? Like in the kitchen, everything is mirrored here. The place is supposed to be familiar, but for some reason I only feel restless. Searched in the closet and under the bed, but didn't find anything in particular. The closet doesn't appear to connect to somewhere else either. Okay. Then the kitchen. Entrance. I reach the door, I try turning the knob. Oh, it's locked now. Door doesn't open. Just in case I look through the peephole, but the only thing outside is the residential area, er, area bathed in eerie colors. No sign of any people. Okay, then the kitchen window. Slightly ajar, cold air leaks in through the crack. Putting my hand on the window, I try to open it more. Doesn't budge an inch. I haven't checked the window in the living room yet. It's a long shot, but maybe it's open. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Holy shit, she looks weird. Are those butterflies? You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Damn. I drive both fists into Kakia's torso, but she doesn't even flinch. It's like I'm hitting a boulder. Kakia loves you. Wants to have lots of fun with you. Oh, hey, baby. If you don't love Kakia, then you won't be forgiven. I can't. My head's getting hazy. 
I can't think any. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. Hey, tell me, who do you love the most? Come here. Uh, now it's just Kakuya. <laughs> I think they're all bad, aren't they? Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> Kakuya. <laughs> yes, I love you too. But all the options were Kakia. <laughs> Love! What should I do? Should I maybe not check the living room? Check the... Maybe it's the order I check them in. Maybe if I check the window immediately, I have enough time to check the balcony as well. I'll just try ya. Yeah? Eh. They're all gonna be bad, aren't they? Let me try ku. Sneaky bastards. Sneaky, sneaky bastards. Here he comes. We have to select nothing. Just wait. God, that's so sneaky. You have to wait so long, too. The entire game, like, trains you to be as fast as you can. To just, like... Save the points for the f for the other questions, but this one you just have to wait. Hmm. God, that third leg is so weird. Why are you quiet? I love you so much. Bullshit. <laughs> As my thoughts fade, I remember all the people whose lives were destroyed because of this girl's game. Ami. Maruhashi. Natsumi. Hey, Kakuya. I really hate you. Damn. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Is that how we beat her? Just say that we don't like her. Kakuya screeches and my sight goes completely white. My body is enveloped in a strange floating sensation. Hey, baby. Hi. Big brother, wake up. Oh, this voice. Are you okay? Oh, baby. Oh. I open my eyes to Ami staring at me wor worriedly. Are you okay? I think so. A little dizzy, but I'm alright. Thank goodness. Our expression morphs into relief. I mean, it looks like the Ami I know, but... Are you really Ami? I'm the real Ami. I'm not Kakuya. Then, you remember when she possessed you? I remember. I was mostly awake, so... You remember Natsumi, too? Yeah. Kakuya did terrible things to mom, didn't she? Yeah. But... It was thanks to mom that I was able to save you. What do you mean? Mom tried to join two mirrors face to face in order to save me, so I did the same thing. I see. The reason I escaped was because Ami joined mirrors. The strange floating feeling after everything turned white must have been how I got out. <laughs> oh, baby. What happened to Kakuya? I grabbed the mirror that still looked into the realm of the dead and see. You're kidding me. No way. Is she there? Oh. Small silhouette in the mirror. Kakuya. Gabu, look. She's coming closer. Shit. In that case... Break the mirror, yeah. Oh, she fixed it! Break, damn it! She's fixing the mirror. Some sort of strange power seems to be working on the mirror. What the hell? Is there nothing I can do but wait until she gets out? If Kakia escapes, then it's all over. She'll kill Ami, who is just a nuisance to her, and I'll be pulled back into the realm of the dead. What can I do? NG. 
Nagoshi no gi. NG is Kakuya's secret. Oh, BB. Oh. If we can find out what it is, maybe we can get away from her somehow. She's right. When I brought up NG to Kakuya before, she freaked out. If we have any chance, that would be it. What is this NG that Kakuya hates so much? Think about everything that's happened. I must have heard about it recently. Nagoshi no gi. Right, Nagashi no gi. Ugh. Extremely grateful to Noboru. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru family cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. Nagashi no gi ritual or whatever, yeah? Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to NG? Sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the interest of the Kaguya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. NG refers to Nagashi no gi. The Nagashi no gi was a ritual for giving a doll plaything to Kakia, which sealed her in the mirror. People originally offered special dolls charged with spiritual power by the Midoku family. But an accident caused Yakumo Midoku to lose his spiritual powers and he couldn't perform his role. So the alternative method, method he chose was al altering young girls into dolls instead. Hmm, so we need to give her a doll with spiritual power. Now I know the meaning of NG. That means there are two ways to seal Kakuya. One is to pour spiritual power into a special doll and offer it to her. The other is to turn a girl into a doll and offer it to her. Both of them are absolutely insane and desperate. Which one gives us a chance? Well, the doll one, of course, not the girl. Why would you do the little girl one? <laughs> Let's become a murderer! <laughs> What do they mean by special doll? Think! Something Miraku owned and could be a playmate for Kakuya. The weird doll thing with the the threads from it. Something at the Miraku residence that connects to Kakuya. Could it be that? Yes. Ami, call me if Kakuya comes out. Here it is. I dig under my bed, and it doesn't take me long to find what I was searching for. Why is it under your bed, though? A replica doll of Kakuya that we found in the attic of the Midoku residence. If anything's connected to her, it would be this. Plus, this doll kind of looks like her. What is this? Oh, since I'm the last successor of the Midoku family, it's just junk now. I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. It would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean by power of your hands? Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual power onto the doll and give it to her. If Miruku doesn't have kids or other family, then there's no one who can perform the ritual. Which would definitely make the doll junk. Yakumo Miroku died because of Kakuya, of course. Kakuya considered him her daddy, but he was still killed in the end. Think harder, dig into my memories. There might be an answer buried in there. Kakuya must have loved her dad, so then why was Miroku killed? If I believe what Kakuya said, then the mouth's words I heard back in the realm of the dead. It all started when he gave the fourth grown-up doll, the tea doll. That changed her and she started getting interested in grown-ups. Oh, did she think that was a doll? Miruka was probably killed with Kakuya's game. The deranged love that make her, makes her kill the ones she likes so they die in painful anguish. That must be Kakuya's essence. Then after she was free, she killed Yuri Takamura and became after me and Ami. Her interest in us is really strange. Why us? She's here! Oof. She trying to get out? <laughs> so cool. With an insane screech, Kakuya attempts to come out of the realm of the dead. We're out of time. We're ending this nightmarish game tonight. How are you gonna do it though? For that, I'll need to... 
put some kind of energy into it, but... Use the doll myself or give it to Ami? Give it to Ami? No. I was like, wait, does she have powers? But no, she doesn't. Fuck. Fucked up. Ami, throw this doll into the mirror. Why do you want me? Just do it, hurry. Okay. Ami throws the doll and it's swallowed up by the mirror. Well, that didn't work, I guess. Kakia doesn't stop moving. I was kind of hoping that Ami had this like hidden power when the option appeared, but... I guess not. She drags me into the mirror. This better be the good option. Okay. Because otherwise I'd be stuck. Probably it's a reload or something. There's not a shred of evidence, but from the scattered pieces of the puzzle, the full picture that's forming is leading me to a certain possibility. I never knew my dad's face. Mom was the only one with me since I was born. Oh. She was such a huge fan of Yakumo Miroku that she'd barge into the Miroku res- Oh. The power of blemetry in my right hand. Miroku family had special powers so they could perform the ritual. Plus, Kaki has abnormal obsession with me. Oh, are you related? If this is all caused by the blood flowing in me. Is it possible? Is Yakumo Miroku my father? What? No way. No time to be shocked. The only way I'll survive this is if I believe the possibility and perform NG with my hand. But the big question is, which hand do I use? The hand Miroku used in the ritual was the one with the power to bestow. Was that the right hand or the left hand? Well, you've been touching blood stuff with your right hand, but... I have no idea. I would say left because that's the other one, but... It's probably wrong. Oh! Choose my left hand. The opposite hand of the one that has the blood material power. Oh! Did I think it right? I remember what Miroku said. Each of my hands has a special power. Power to bestow and another one. If my power has been passed down from generation to generation of my family, then maybe Miroku also had a sp power similar to Bloodmetry. If that's the other power Miroku was talking about, then the power of his right hand... Then the power to bestow would be in the other hand, the left hand. That's what I was thinking, but you never know with this game. I grip the doll with my left hand. I focus on my left hand just like I do when I'm doing Bloodmetry. Hey, Kakaya, if you want to play so badly... Play with this! The doll is absorbed into the mirror. You can never move out of this house again now. <laughs> every, every 10 years you have to come back here. <laughs> to do this again. Hmm. It worked! Kakuya disappears into the mirror. I want Kakuya's game! I got an achievement! Yay! So now we should be safe for 10 years? Is it over? Probably. What happened to Kakuya? She went back to her world inside the mirror. She'll probably be quiet for a while now while she plays with that doll. That's so weird. I just performed a true Nagoshinogi. A ritual different from the emergency methods Miroku stooped to, stooped to by turning girls into dolls. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is Mama gonna get better now? I'm sure she will. And Hazuki too. Oh yeah, did she even know what happened to Hazuki? <laughs> People who died because of Kakia's game won't, won't ever come back. But at the very least, the ones who are alive have been saved. Price of the game, Finn. I did it. Good ending. I wonder what the bad ending is like. Uh, this is a good save, yeah. Ah, so the entire game takes place over a month. Uh, 
All right, next. Sir, could you not? Tonight's so calls for more, and you know why. The death march is over. You haven't been able to go home in a while, right? Your wife, your your wife, your wife must be worried sick. I doubt she's ever noticed me gone. She's wrangling our kids into doing homework. Last I heard, they left it to the last minute. Ah, oh, that's right. Summer vacation ends today, doesn't it? There we are. I pass a couple salarymen talking about their lives. On stifling nights like this, I'd rather take walks than stay plopped in front of an AC at home. Hence my current activity, wandering Kisoji at night. Being able to waste time doing nothing makes me realize my daily life is back to how it used to be. It's been a week since Kakia was sealed. Since then, all abnormal phenomena around me has stopped altogether. I haven't sensed their presence once, and the whispers have been silent. People around me have slowly been getting back to their normal lives too. Ah, yay! Anatsumi regained consciousness immediately after Kakuya was sealed. She took a few days off, just in case, but she she's back to working at the bar already. She told me she started writing another horror novel. Yes! Yes, girl, right! I asked her if she knew anything about Miraku and my mom, but she didn't know anything else. Guess my mom didn't share details about my dad with anyone. Not even Miraku. She might have noticed the Miraku's family's dark secret after their relationship deepened. Did she keep my tie to Miraku's secret from me so I wouldn't get caught up in it? Ami's back to her regular, lively self. She's even started helping her mom. I still watch over her whenever Anatsumi is busy. Things are really back to normal, huh? Hazuki's woken up as well. Just the other day, Amanoma and I sat through her occult theories for hours at the hospital. She's clearly not had her fill of spirits yet. Last I heard of Bun, he was pursuing a new case. His targets... His targets? This Princess Mak? Some urban legend about... His target is... Oh. His target is this Princess Mak. Some urban legend about fast driving spirit. Rose has been traveling overseas doing her magician gig. The king of some country is apparently a big fan and paid her an exorbitant, exorbitant amount to visit. That's cool. Oh, hey, yeah, she's my favorite. I heard all these incidents have sparked an interest in mysterious cases in Oi. She's been trying to convince her higher ups to create a new department just to solve them. But it sounds like it's been a hard sell. Yeah, that would be a hard sell. And Amanome is right here. Almost time. We're meeting at my place tonight. He used to talk such shit about my apartment. Just what is he up to now? Maybe he's too excited to remember now that he's been freed from his house arrest. He'll be here any minute. Why would you go outside though in that Japan heat? Ugh. Well, I'm at home resting. Here he comes. Amanome stops by. I'm sure he has a drink for me. This place is as small as I remembered it. How do you live here? I wouldn't last three days in this hole. Did you come all the way here to bitch about my apartment? <laughs> Not that bored. Anyway, did you finish your homework? No. I take it you haven't finished it and that bothers you. I don't mind if you copy mine if you want because I'm such a kind young man. I was bored out of my mind while I was trapped inside so I finished it all ages ago. Damn, son! I don't really care. I'm used to nasty looks from teachers. I bet. Watching you desperately copy my homework isn't what I want to do on the last day of vacation. Oh, I just remembered. Was it the mirror in your bathroom where Kakia showed herself? Before I can raise a hand to stop him, Amanome curiously peeks into the mirror. Hmm, so she came out of this thing, huh? He continues gazing into the mirror. What is it? I was just appalled at how dirty the mirror is. Get off your lazy ass and clean it sometimes. Again with the bitching! <laughs> we pass the time doing what we enjoy. Amanome digs into a new snobby novel while I read the latest martial arts magazine. Every once in a while we break the quiet by talking about random stuff. We do this every time we hang out at my place. That sounds nice. Oh yeah, because he doesn't have a TV. That reminds me. I need to return it to you. You're gonna have to give me a hint. Oh, the gun. You don't remember? Mm -hmm. 
Digging through the crap in my closet, I pull out Amanoma's modified gun from the back where I'd hidden it. This is really dangerous, you know. Oh, right, right. I remember now. Been so busy that it totally slipped my mind. What did you say? Kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry I had you hold on to dangerous stuff for me. If you mean that, don't ever ask me again. Having it here weirded me out. I don't blame you. But there's only a few people I trust with this. You, my longtime friend, and Maruhashi, if only because he was obedient to a fault. When Amanome mentions Maruhashi, I can hear his voice turn somber. He must be suffering in his own way. He comes across as an intelligent, intellectual punk, but he truly does care about under the bluster? That was a weird sentence for me. I've been meaning to ask. Now that you've won the war and successfully saved little Ami, what are your plans? What do you mean? I mean, are you going back to being an ordinary high school student? Studying peacefully at school, surrounded by your classmates. Is that the normal life you crave? Hmm. That's what I thought. That's the type of life ordinary people want, but I don't think it's for you. You need a life that allows you to utilize your skills. So you're saying I should go back to doing that UG match? Exactly. No, dude, I need to do, like, spirit investigations. I realized you shine brightest when your life is on the line. Everything we've been through only proves it. No, I should start like an investigation team with uh, Rose or Oi. What do you say, Gabu? You and me injecting some thrill into the UG match again. Nah. You say that, but I get the feeling you'll have a change of heart soon. A man like you can't live a flat drink life when carbonation is out there in the world. That's boring. His face twists into a usual scheming smirk. I got the good ending! <laughs> Damn! He wants me into the organization. Makes sense. I'm a, tr a friend who can be trusted. I'm a really good fighter, so... That was it! I'm gonna take a sip. Oh my god, it's the end of NG! The series that, that has been walk, uh, walking, running, running, yeah. <laughs> the series that has been running for almost a year. Jesus. I was so slow with this series. Too much going on. A uh, close nightmare was running in the background. That, that was the biggest mistake of this year for translation work. I had two really intensive projects at the same time. I really should do only one at a time for translation stuff. And right now, I, I haven't been doing translation for a little bit because I just had too many games on my plate. Uh, NG, Death Stranding, Star Wars, and uh, Bloodborne are the ones I'm doing right now. Which has been super fun, but now that I finished this one, I gotta f focus on finishing Death Stranding, which only should be a couple more episodes as well. And then after that, I'll definitely get back to translation work. I kind of want to get to it sooner, but I think I need to get rid of one more game that is currently running, and then I'll be good. This was great, though. I think the artwork in this game was better than Deathmark. I think I like this one better than Deathmark. I think they really stepped up their game. Um, it was just really fun to get through. The translation was well done. There were, there were a couple style choices I didn't agree with, like Oe's... Um, for, specifically for Oe, they mixed up, they replaced all the URs with your, like spelling it like your, because she had like a lot of abbreviations in the way she spoke. Um, which just kind of threw me off a little bit. Uh, I feel like that wasn't really necessary to have her talk like that, but... It's probably because of the way she spoke in Japanese, it's probably also like... Heavenly, he heavenly, heavily changed. So it probably makes sense from a translator's perspective. Scary effects mode. Wait, does this start a, a new game immediately? Damn. I think I'm just starting a new game now. Yeah, holy shit. Well, we're not going to do that then. I mean, this is just a new, this is... 
It just starts a new game plus, I guess. I, I guess if you want to get the D-Man stuff, you'll have to play through it again. You can get through this game really fast if you just fast forward all the text, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I didn't get... Let's see who D-Man's identity is, because I am I am curious. Because even in the guide, they censored D-Man, so now I'm like, maybe it was a Deathmark character. Maybe that's why it was D, D-Man, for Deathmark. D-Man's real name is Aratama Hiro, and he is the desk editor for the Op Arts. Uh, Opatsu, yeah, it was Op Arts, right? Uh, monthly, so the magazine. At one point, he became well acquainted with Kazuo Yashiki while investigating supernatural cases for him. Um, Kazuo Yashiki, is that the Deathmark? Yeah, that's Deathmark's main character. So they became friends, I see. Well, I can't, I can't find a picture of D-Man at all. Um, even the guide that references him is blurred, so I don't know why. Maybe he's blurred in the game? I'm not sure. Um, if anyone can find uh, a picture of D-Man, then just let me know. I'll, I'll have a better look as I edit this. If I find it, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but yeah, that was it. So D-Man was just a side character, I guess. If you had gotten all the cards that he had hidden, you get like a little special cutscene with him. But I feel like that's it, if I'm correct. So we got the good ending. Um, for me, this closes off NG. I'm very happy it's finally coming to an end. Um, I really like playing through this game, but I just my my fault at this time was that I it, I had too many games on my plate and it took me too long to finish it. So um, they're making a third game. They're trying to get funding for a third game right now. I back them on a Japanese like it's not Kickstarter, but it's like a Japanese Kickstarter. Um, I back them there for like ninety bucks. So I hope. Um, I hope the third game gets made. If it does, I'll of course be playing it. 100% sure I'll be playing it. Um, I'll just have to make sure that at that point I'll have less on my plate and I, it can get my full attention. Um, if it comes out sooner in Japan, in Japanese again, I'll translate it to English and then we'll probably... If it takes me too long, we'll switch to the English version eventually. But for now, this is it. Uh, this was NG. Hopefully the company will keep making sequels. Because uh, they're very fun, and I feel like this one was even better than Deathmark, which was already really fun to do. Um, tons of games that are on my mind to work on next. I think I have a visual novel in mind for the PS3 that also uses FMV cutscenes. I think that's the one I want to play next. Um, so, uh, hopefully I can get started on that soon, but we'll see. Um, thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm so glad you guys liked this playthrough. Uh, it's been very fun for me to do, and hopefully I'll see you next in more Japanese-themed stuff. Thank you so much. Bye!